Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And bear with me just a, a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. All right. So the first card that stands uh, for our topic of the week here is going to be the Tree of Wands, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges that we need to overcome here. That is going to be the Seven of Swords, uh, of Wands, excuse me. Afterwards, it is uh, the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Four of Swords. It's quite awkward here. All right. So the last one that it is the guidance that Tarot is offering, uh, we do have the Ten of Wands. It's pretty, it's pretty awkward, these positions, the seven of wands and the four of swords. Okay, so um, three of wands for us is going to be catalyzed, wow, look at that, guys, with the ace of wands. Active supporters. So needless to say, it is that this week we are going to find ourselves in a very, very good spot into a quite of an established patterns, all right, uh, I, uh, solid foundations, either regarding our career or either regarding our business. And so the question stands, where to from now on? Which, uh, with these cards, it looks like that, uh, well, it stands like this, we are going to um, think of our endeavors that we have get as far as we could okay with our current mindset or with our current um, perspective and now we need to go for more by challenging ourselves with new enterprises let's say with new relationships or to jump into relationship or with new projects or with new jobs or in my case maybe with new services or with new content and so on and so forth so the whole point here it is that we have to do something new and usually when the tree of one stands on its own we have to figure out what that what, what that thing is but here with the ace of wands uh, it's surprise is awaiting to uh, it's awaiting us right because the ace of wands to the tree of wands points of a, a very gaining for enterprise that is going to extend our limits or is going to go beyond the limits that we have placed for ourselves right and in order to take it we have to challenge ourselves and uh, that uh, speaks that the week is going to be quite dynamic there will be chaos here and there but it's going to be quite so the uh, productive one what i mean is uh, we are going to find this thing quite interesting to tackle with right and that also uh, for many of us scorpio that will allow us as well to develop certain skills to unfold certain talents, if you will, or to start doing things that are going to provoke and burst out our, um, our passion, 
as well. But definitely this week we can expect a something like a new beginning. And I'm saying something because it's not exactly a new beginning. It is like moving on the next uh, on the next stage, moving on the uh, moving on the next level here. Additionally, with these two cards, uh, we do have a lot of uh, we do have big chances here to resolve problems. Okay, so if you if if you do have a certain problems that are making you feel restless, that are not allowing you to sleep through the nights, well, then this week, November twenty fifth to December first, it is the week where you can do something about it. So what will be the challenge? Uh, we do have the Seven of Wands here and it's going to be catalyzed ah, with the Three of Swords. Oh my God. So um, challenge wise, it looks like that we will have to deal unfortunately with enemies with these cards. or Enemies to appoint people that are trying to talk us out of it, talk us out of this gaining for enterprise, this awesome new opportunity for ourselves, this a window that it is opening for us, okay? Uh, so two ways how they can do it, uh, according to those, three ways how they can do it according to those cards. Now, the first way, it is that they may tempt us out of it. So kind of like presenting us with something different that seems more lucrative or more happier, you know, and etc. etc. The other way it is by diminishing our self-esteem. Okay, so these are people who are making us feel um, not uncomfortable but in incapable. Okay, so for example, that is a, a project we want to go for and uh, these people around us uh, or that specific person is going to pretty much try to slumber our confidence that we will not be able to deal with this thing. And the last um, way how they can influence, influence us, it is through a mental cruelty, insults, humiliation, you name it, uh, reminding us uh, how worthless we are, all right? Reminding us of a poignant experiences back of the days and so on and so forth. I mean, these are nasty people and they usually uh, work through a uh, gossips. They, they don't have the audacity to, to, to stand in, in front of us and say it into our face, you know, they're going to do it through a third parties, like spreading rumors, like spreading gossips and so on and so forth. Now, that is quite a lot of to overwhelm, to be honest, because um, Seven of Wands can only be um, overcome with a, a premature, decisive crush, okay? You shouldn't um, kind of like phase those uh, manners with a, a milder approach, you need to be very, very aggressive toward those, uh, toward those people, okay? Eventful like, uh, these two cards uh, may refer to as well, uh, kind of like a, a specific moment of action, that's, uh, and this moment is going to be exactly when we are um, having our back against the wall, so it's like we are, almost incapable to do anything and this is where we do have our moments of action and the challenge is going to be to grasp or to take on this moment and do what it is needed there. So on a positive note here, uh, this week uh, we do have uh, the Four of Swords which is accompanied with the Devil card. Our mental awareness is going to be our biggest um, how can I say it, biggest weapon we can uh, achieve. So if that person, if these people or that person tries to tempt us out of it, with these two cards, there is no chance. It is because our mind is going to be sharp. Our mind is going to be in peace. We are going to have that serenity, okay? And as well, solace within our thoughts. So we are going to be extremely calm and it doesn't look like that we are to budge on certain te temptations. Additionally to that, uh, these two cards are pointing that certain influences and powers are not going to have effect over us. So pretty much with these positive aspects here, I can only say that um, 
the decisive crush we have to deliver to those people that are trying to deprive us from our gaining full opportunity is just to ignore them. I, it is as simple as that. Do not address what they say to you. They say that your idea is stupid, just pff, whatever, you know, and just uh, reward them with, 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 with ignorance, reward them with indifference. That's the best way how uh, we, Scorpio, can deal with um, with these uh, attacks, uh, verbal attacks uh, toward our nature. Additionally, those two cards here, uh, guys, are pointing that the people around us are not going to be all evil, uh, but those which we can uh, use or those we, from which we can take uh, kind of like a positive aspect are uh, very loyal and faithful to us. That is coming from the uh, Four of Swords and uh, with uh, the devil here. And they will want us to do the best we can with this gaining for enterprise. So they want, uh, how we are gonna recognize them? Well, these are people who are not telling us um, what we have to do or what we should do, but they will just going to divulge their own opinion, okay? And will allow us to, uh, deliberate on that opinion and decide for ourselves is this good or is this bad but uh, definitely uh, Scorpio we throughout this week we will have the power to overcome the power right of others so it's uh, it's a pretty major one if you ask me it looks like that uh, this week uh, if we did some you know stupid things back in the days. It looks like that uh, that is not going to be uh, what takes place throughout this week, November 25th to December 1st. And the last one, uh, it refers to the guidance that Tarot is offering, and that is going to be the Ten of Wands, accompanied with the King of Pentacles. We have a active neutrals in this uh, particular position. So these two cards are telling us a few things. First of all, is that the gaining for enterprise we're gonna have throughout the week, it's really worth it, all right? But also, should we take it? We also need to be ready to do, uh, to, to put our full devotion into it. So that the enterprise, in order to develop, it will have a certain routine that needs to be performed, all right? There will be certain rules that we need to follow. And uh, if, we if we like the prospects, then we have to follow those rules. There are no corners to be cut. But uh, on a positive note with the guidance, the uh, expectations of, uh, of spending, you know, a spending time, a spending money, a spending efforts, are quite exceeded. What I mean is that at the end of the day with Scorpio, we'll have to give less or we have to invest, invest in it less than we have initially uh, anticipated in regards to this gaining for enterprise. So just to summarize all that, Scorpio, it looks like that throughout this week we have to be brave and we have to be very confident within ourselves, not allowing anybody else to tell us what to do, okay? And uh, also we, uh, that comes in the narrative of bravery here, we should uh, simply, you know, reach out for it. It's as simple as that. We have uh, achieved certain maximum and now it's time to push ourselves forward or a little bit above our self-imposed limits in order to exceed this uh, maximum. And that happens in this week, November 25th to December 1st. 2019. All right, guys, so this was uh, our weekly reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.